At first, at 11, a group of residents in Huber Heights one step closer tonight to getting one of their councilwomen removed from office. Tonight, the city council adopted an ordinance to place a recall election for councilwoman Janelle Smith on the ballot. 2 News reporter Kristen Eskow is live in Huber Heights with tonight's top story. Mark and Brooke, this comes after a petition that collected more than 600 signatures. Now, Councilwoman Janelle Smith did have support in the room tonight. Many people applauded after she made her remarks. Now, the voters will get to decide whether she stays in office. Ward 2 Councilwoman Janelle Smith at risk of losing her seat on Huber Heights City Council. The recall efforts stem from a petition filed by a local group, Huber Heights Ward 2 United for a Better Tomorrow, which says it collected more than 600 signatures. Smith made a statement at Monday night's city council meeting saying she believes, quote, corrosive influences in the city are behind the recall efforts. I firmly believe the voters will send a message that they meant what they said when they elected me in 2015. The days of the old system in this city are numbered. The residents group says it believes Smith is unfit for office, citing a previous council meeting where Smith claimed city employees told her a recently approved water pressure project would have no effect on the water pressure. The city manager tells me he investigated those claims and says they are unfounded. The residents group declined our request for an interview, but says in a statement in part, quote, it is our committee's belief that Councilwoman Smith's own words and action reflect she either falsified information about two city staff members or she withheld crucial information from her council colleagues that could have affected a vote on the multi-million dollar water pressure project. But at Monday night's city council meeting, Smith received support from residents, including Mary Caperton, who lives in Ward 3. I can communicate with Ms. Smith, and she can tell me the things that I need to know, which is sad because my council person is not available. The Huber Heights law director says the city's charter required council members to approve putting the recall on the ballot if the petition met all the requirements. And some council members did express concern. Residents we spoke with on both sides say they're glad they'll have a say. It also is very important that other residents have a chance to voice their concerns. Yeah. So I'm glad that they did, you know, let it stay open to the referendum. That way all citizens can have a voice. And the law director says residents do have the opportunity to counter the recall through referendum efforts. Now, because council members chose not to pass the ordinance tonight as an emergency ordinance, city officials say it's not yet clear if this will appear on the November ballot or if it'll have to wait until February. We're live in Huber Heights, Kristen Escal, 2 News, working for you.